What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So I'd like to start off by saying I understand that I'm wearing the hat that nobody likes, um, but be okay with that because I like the hat. Um, tonight's video is going to cover how to use the elementary OS window manager gala in XFCE. So I'm using XFCE 4.10. It's sitting on top of Zubuntu 13.04. Uh, this particular method I want to show you tonight involves using a PPA, which is an Ubuntu um, personal package archive. Uh, if you're using a different distribution um, with XFCE, you know, your mileage may vary, but obviously you can't use the PPA method. I did try this in Manjaro Linux, so um, Gala is in the AUR, so if you're on Arch or you're using Manjaro or an Arch-based uh, derivative, you may be able to get Gala compiled um, in the AUR. However, every time Gala tried to compile for me out of the AUR, there were errors. So, you know, again, I don't know if there was an error compiling Gala itself or one of the dependencies, but I couldn't get it to work properly and I didn't really have the patience to figure out what the problem was. This particular method is much, much easier. Um, so I'm going to include a link to a blog post uh, in the video description below that will have all of the terminal commands that you uh, will see in this demonstration. So it will be very simple, copy and paste. Now why would you want to use something like Gala in XFCE? Well, honestly, two reasons for me. Well, I guess three. Uh, love elementary OS, love everything they're doing, big, big fan. They just are in forever beta. Now, you know, we're already on Ubuntu 13.04, um, which is two versions. So it's basically a year's worth of development, updated packages, updated libraries, updated kernel, all that good stuff um, ahead of where elementary is, is right now because they're based on uh, Ubuntu 12.04. So something as simple as my compiler GCC if we check the um, GCC version we see here that it's 4.7.3 that's a perfect example um, in 12.04 they're using 4.6 and there's been a lot of enhancements in the compiler um, you know since 12.04 so that's just one example something else could be you know GIMP for instance GIMP is still at version 2.6 um, if you want to update it to the latest version, which is 2.8.4, you've got to use a PPA. And the list goes on and on. Um, so, you know, for me, I would rather updated software. I would um, rather updated libraries. And that's what uh, Zubuntu 13.04 gives me. Now, Zubuntu is also um, a very lightweight distro. XFC is a very lightweight desktop environment. It's very fast. It's very stable and is extremely customizable so it's a perfect marriage now the other reason is you know video tearing i experience quite a bit of video tearing not so much on zubuntu 1304 um, but all the other workarounds and methods i've used have re have reduced the tearing um, quite a bit but never really eliminated it with gala i don't really have any window tearing at all also in terms of productivity i really like the features like hot corners that gala provides as you can see the expose overview feature works. I have the workspace overview uh, feature. I also have a hot corner when I'm using um, a screen key, which is an application that captures my keystrokes on screen when I do a tutorial. I like to set up a hot corner um, with a custom command to kill that application so I can quickly you know, bring my mouse um, pointer up into the upper right hand corner of the screen and kill that application. That works as well. So, you know, and window snapping also works. Also, zooming works. You know, the zoom is set up uh, to follow your mouse. So if I hold the super key or the Windows key on my keyboard and I hit plus, it'll zoom in and minus it will zoom out. So everything's working flawlessly. It's been extremely stable, no crashes, no, no big, um, you know, uh, no, no deal breakers with this combination. Everything's been very, very positive. So if this is something that you want to do, um, this is a really simple guide and method uh, to accomplish it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this little file. Again, this will be in a link in the video description below. So you can copy and paste everything. 
but I put this uh, little thing together from information I found online and uh, we're gonna add this repository so it's extremely simple just copy and paste this in the terminal hit enter it's gonna ask you to confirm that you want to add the repository by hitting enter do that update your sources which is a sudo app get update and then install these packages which is gala and dconf the other thing it does is it brings in plank by default as well so if you want to use plank and i highly suggest it, it's a very simple lightweight dock works you know well with gala um you know bring bring uh, plank in and set it up now if you want to have plank automatically start um, when your system starts it's a very very simple thing to do you're going to come over to session and startup application auto start you're going to create a new entry by hitting the add button um, call it whatever you want <laughs> ironically I call mine plank give it a description if you like and the command is forward slash USR forward slash bin forward slash plank and that's it that will start plank when your system starts now after you've got these packages installed what we want to do is we want to copy a file into our home directory. You do so by um, copying this particular line, put it into a terminal, hit enter, it's going to copy that file. Next thing we need to do is we need to make an adjustment to this file. I'll show you what that is. Line 14. Okay. Normally, where it says value equals, you're going to see XFWM4. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah. That's the XFCE um, window manager. You're going to replace that with Gala. Then all you're going to do is save that. After you save that, what, you're just going to restart your computer and Gala is going to start automatically. Now, you're going to notice that the theme's probably a little bit messed up and there's a few things that you need to fix. So I'm going to try my best to tell you how to fix those things. So if you uh, come to Application Finder, type in dconf editor. Oh, and by the way, the other thing too is I'm using the elementary icon theme. If you want to install that, you would just do a sudo app get install elementary dash icon dash theme. So if we come over here to org, gnome, desktop, and come down to interface, what you're going to want to do is it's going to switch the theme, uh, the icon theme from uh, Droid Sans to Canarel. You can switch it back to Droid Sans by. Um, you know this entry here droid space sans and whatever size you want I do 10 also your GTK theme is probably gonna be screwed up you're gonna just want to type in Graybird or whatever theme that you want to use for me I like Graybird and that's it for right there then you're gonna to want to come down to where it says WM or window manager come to preferences and again theme is Graybird your title bar fonts fonts gonna be a little bit messed up I like droid sans bold so you can switch it to that if you like. And then for everything else, you're going to come down to where it says Pantheon, Desktop, and then Gala. Animations. I like things to open very, very quickly, um, and I like things to be real snappy. So I actually took all these animation speeds and I um, lowered them all, so things will be a lot, a lot quicker. So that's how you do that. Appearance. Here's how you fix your button layout, because that will be screwed up as well. So if you take this entry, again, that's going to be in the blog post below. Copy and paste it here. That's how you fix your button layout. Behavior. Here's how you, how you set up all your hot corners. So perfect example, hot corner bottom right, I have window overview all. That's how you get the expose feature. If you click on this with your uh, mouse, left click and hold, it, uh, hold down um, left click on your mouse, you can actually choose whatever you like from this menu. Again. I have the uh, window overview all. Um, hot corner for bottom left I have is the workspace switcher. You know, that is all set, ready to go. And top right I have set to a custom command that I talked about before, and that command is kill all screen key. So, And uh, you can change the window overview type from grid to natural. I leave it at grid. Key bindings, um, I left all these the same. Again, super A gives you the um, expose all windows um, feature alt tab works as well so there's alt tab um, and then again your zoom works so super key plus and minus and if you want to mess with all the shadows you can do that as well so guys that's it I mean it's it's that simple um, I suggest after you install all of the packages you need you can disable 
the elementary icon theme, or I'm sorry, the elementary PPA. <clears throat> you may want to do that so it doesn't bring in, next time you do a system upgrade, it's not going to bring in a bunch of elementary packages that are unwanted. And so you, you can disable it using Synaptic. Uh, Zubuntu does not have Synaptic installed by default, so it's just a simple sudo app get install Synaptic. Come to settings and then repositories. You can also disable, uh, get to where I'm about to uh, go into here using the uh, software center, but go to other software and then right here, elementary OS daily, just untick that and hit close. And then um, hit the reload button in some that, uh, excuse me, in Synaptic, and that will update your um, sources list. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I find that this combination is lightning fast, rock solid, no crashes, no bugs, no nothing. Everything's working really great. Video tearing has been fixed. I have all my hot corner uh, functionality that makes me more productive and overall and of course all my updated software and libraries and all that good stuff. So this is an awesome combination for me. It's what I'm using now and hopefully it's something you guys like. Uh, if you found this video easy to understand and helpful, give me a thumbs up. That helps me. If you actually do this um, and you know you like it, leave me a comment. If, if Gala works for you in XFCE and you're enjoying it, let me know your feedback. Leave it in the comment section below. Um, but as always, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you later.